So you just bought some new grip socks. Hopefully they were pure grip socks, which are the most affordable grip socks on the market, available in a wide variety of colors for just $14.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com. You're super hyped to try them on. You slide them on your feet. They feel great. And then you go to put your boots on and realize there's a problem. The added grip from the grips on the bottom of your grip socks make it much harder to put on your boots. This is totally normal. And the reason why in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks on how you can more easily put your boots on while wearing grip socks, whether they're pure grip socks or any other brand but preferably pure grip socks. To start, let me explain why this is happening. Your grip socks have grips on the bottom. Those grips are obviously there to grip the inside of your boots, therefore eliminating slippage as well as preventing your socks from sliding around on your feet while you're playing, increasing responsiveness, increasing comfort. It is the benefit of grip socks. However, that added grip, which is there at all times, does make it a little bit more difficult to slide your boots on as well as take them off. Especially given that most football boots these days have one piece uppers, mid cut designs, and generally smaller openings to slide your foot in. And of course, every boot is gonna be a little bit different. Sometimes even the specific shape of your foot, depending on the boots you're wearing, can make things easier or more difficult. But to make a long story short, when you're wearing grip socks, if you wanna put your boots on effectively, you can't do it the lazy way. Or in other words, like this. Never put your boots on like this with or without grip socks. Here's the right way. So first things first, even before we try to put on our boots, we need to evaluate the fit of our socks. And this is not only important for the sake of comfort, but when you're talking about grip socks specifically, the grips are supposed to be positioned in a certain place on your foot. So having the proper fit with your socks is crucial to their overall effectiveness. And if they're a little bit too big specifically, you're gonna find that as you're trying to put your foot inside the boots, the socks are bunching up because there's a lot of extra material. Talking specifically, on pure grip socks something that we really wanted to make sure is that everyone could get a quality fit which is why we really made sure that the shape was right we used the right materials with the correct amount of stretch so they fit your foot without any excess material and we also offered the socks in smaller size increments so you could get the right size for your specific foot. If your socks are too big, grip socks or not, you're gonna find that there's gonna be extra material bunching up around the heel, which is typically caused by the grips on the bottom of your foot just pushing the extra material of the sock towards the back as you slide your foot in. If you get the right size, that shouldn't be an issue. So once you've sorted out the fit of your socks, it's now time to put your boots on. And I have a Superfly 8 Elite here as an example, which is one of the most popular football boots on the market, also with a mid-cut design and relatively small opening that would make it a little bit trickier than a lot of other boots to put on while wearing grip socks. And you're gonna need to do something with every football boot pending that it has laces before putting these on, and that is loosening the lacing system as much as you possibly can, which is going to allow you to stretch the upper as much as possible, therefore making the opening as big as possible, giving you more space to slide your foot in as easily as possible. From here, you're ready to put your boots on, and I would strongly recommend doing so while down on one knee. I think this is the best position in terms of taking as much weight off of your foot as possible while you're sliding it inside the boot. What I would recommend is using two hands to kind of hold the opening, and again, every boot's a little bit different, but use that back thumb specifically to really hold the structure of the heel counter so you're not bending it inwards. This is not for the sake of the socks, it's for the sake of the boots. Nonetheless, I like to turn it sideways like this, this, slide my foot in slightly. That first part should go in pretty easily. And then from here, what I'm really focusing on and the reason why I'm on one knee is I'm not putting all my weight on this foot. I'm kind of leaving it slightly elevated so I can kind of just push it through the inside of the boot without kind of forcing it against the insole, which is obviously gonna grip to the socks themselves. You can see from there, I slid the boots on relatively easily. You might find that some of the material has moved a little bit at the heel. From there, what I would recommend is just grab the sides of the boot and then just kind of lift your heel up and down ever so slightly to kind of move the sock into the right place. And then from there, your boots are on, it's that simple. And to show that, here's a montage of me putting on the most popular football boots while wearing grip socks.
congratulations, you now possess the knowledge to put on your football boots while wearing grip socks without struggling for several minutes while everybody watches you questioning whether or not you know how to put on your shoes. Keep in mind that practice makes perfect with this, but follow the steps that I showed you in this video and you should have a much easier time. If you've never tried grip socks before and are curious or you just need a new pair, friendly reminder that pure grip socks are available in a wide variety of colors for just $14.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com, which of course will be linked down below. Other than that, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to support it with a like and maybe share it with a friend who's struggling with their grip socks. If you have any questions, leave it down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.